Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, we are going to talk about another new line from Victoria's Secret. I think this one is called Midnight, what is this? I think this one is called Midnight Heat Wave. Midnight Heat Wave. Yes, Midnight Heat Wave, the new line by Victoria's Secret. Um, I did pick these up in a big haul. If you haven't seen that haul yet, definitely go back and take a look. But we're going to dive into a little bit more in depth today and just talk about them. And if they're good, they're bad, all the dilly dilly. Before we really get going, y'all, today's lip look is, of course, by me. It is Violet Vixen. Yo, look at that. Violet Vixen. She's a very sheer, shimmery lilac color. And I freaking love her. And y'all, she smells like blueberry pie. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and check that out if you haven't already. And let's get into this video. Okay, the first one I want to talk about. Well, let me just show you what they look like first. I am digging the packaging. I think the packaging is like super cute. But I have thoughts. <laughs> the first one is Neon Tropic. Yep, Neon Tropic. It says bright bergamot and sandalwood. And on the back, it says watermelon juice charges up tear flower under the glowing lights. Hmm. Let's see what this do. What'd that do? What'd that do? I do like this one because it definitely gives off like summer heat. It definitely has like a, I do get sandalwood in this. It's not as heavy as other scents that have sandalwood. I do get bergamot. I don't really get watermelon juice. I'm, I'm very perplexed by this line and the fact that they list scent notes that are either indetectable to my nose or don't coincide with the name, which is odd. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Right now, Neon Tropic. I don't pick up watermelon juice at all or tear flower. Literally what I'm getting is bergamot and sandalwood. It is a very pretty scent. I like it. Definitely screams hot weather, tropical type of heat. Um, the sandalwood in here is not really woody woody. It's not smoky. It's a nice set. It's a nice level sandalwood. And the bergamot in here is pretty. It's definitely kind of in the background more. This gives like, um, almost has like a little bit of Neroli vibes. And I'm loving it. But the sandalwood is very, very pretty. It reminds me of Tulum. Because Tulum, down on Tulum Beach in Mexico, Tulum Beach in the city of Tulum, they have open air shops everywhere. And uh, sandalwood and Palo Santo is burning everywhere. And this just kind of gives me that vibe. Kind of bohemian chic. I do like this one a lot. Next one is Sizzling Vanilla. Yep. I'm digging this, pa this packaging. It's very like red, white, and blue. It kind of reminds me of a bomb pop. Don't it a little bit? Yeah. But it says coconut milk and sugar cane. And on the back it says sun musks add heat to sweet mango. Warm sand underfoot. This is the one I was so excited for because y'all know me. I'm a vanilla hoe and I love anything vanilla. So when I saw sizzling vanilla, I'm like, hell yeah. But I don't get a lot of vanilla vibe from this. It's, uh, it definitely is not what I thought it would be. I don't really get coconut milk. I don't get sugar cane. I definitely pick up musk. There's a lot of musk in this, like a lot of musk. I don't get mango. I, I'm very confused. It's kind of like a very musky vanilla is what this really comes down to. And not in a... Not in a good way. I, I hate to say it, not in a good way. Yeah, um, it just kind of smells like a generic musk that they threw some vanilla in there, but way in the background. You know what I mean? Um, if you want a really good vanilla musk, 
uh, the new Viva Vanilla from Bath and Body Works. I don't know if that's still out, or if you can even find it. I know that's sold out like that. But this one, I don't know. We'll let her sit for a minute, and, and we'll come back. We'll come back. The next one is Electric Mango. Yep, Electric Mango. It says exotic guava and passion fruit. Juicy pineapple spices up salty driftwood. Tropic like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Now, I remember when I did the haul from this and I did like an initial sniff. I was very confused. Because it doesn't, it, at least in the cap, it definitely did not smell like mango like at all. What I will say is on the skin, I most definitely get guava and dragon fruit, or I'm sorry, passion fruit. I don't get pineapple. And I don't any, I don't get any driftwood notes. What I mostly get is a very pretty guava with passion fruit. And actually, y'all, this one kind of surprised me. She grew on me. It is definitely a very fruity scent, very tropical, fruity type of a scent, but it has the guava and the passion fruit, which you don't really see too many guava scents that are good, good, but this is one of them. Y'all, this is one of them. I don't know why the hell they call it electric mango, though. It don't smell like mango. No pineapple, no driftwood, just guava and passion fruit. Yeah, we'll come back and see how that one sits, too. The last one in this collection is Wild Neroli. Yep, Wild Neroli. I'm loving this color. Scent notes are bronzed amber and salty air. Fresh lime adds a twist to Coastal Jasmine, a late night adventure. Yo! This one. This one. Yes. Hello, lover. Y'all, this is like, okay, if you like Tropodelic by Bath & Body, this is like the nighttime, sexed up, amped up version. It is freaking gorgeous. I love it. The Neroli is done perfectly in here. I don't get any lime. I get a tiny bit of jasmine. A tiny bit. But I definitely get that very a deep amber note in there. I do pick up salt notes and, of course, the neroli. This is freaking gorgeous. Highly, highly recommend this. Like I said, if you like Tropodelic from Bath & Body, you are going to love this. If I had a perfume that smelled like this, like, in ways, this smells better than Tropodelic. In ways, in ways. Yeah, absolutely. Like, hey, girl. Hey. Definitely an amped up, sexy, nighttime version of Tropodelic. I would love this in a perfume. It is gorgeous. Now, let's go back and see what Neon Tropic is doing. Now that she kind of sat a little bit. The sad, the sad thing for me about this one is the longevity is crap. It's absolute crap. Um, I can barely even smell it on my skin anymore, and it's been, what, like 10 minutes? So, yeah. Uh, I just, this would be a pass for me. Let's go back to that sizzling vanilla that's like a vanilla musk. I will say this one does have longevity, but as it dries down, it kind of has like this musky wood smoky vibe. This is much more a scent I could have seen them releasing like in the fall or the winter. It's definitely a lot warmer. What you're left with is like a wood smoke vanilla musk. and But the longevity is not the greatest on this one either. I want to say maybe, maybe an hour, from my experience with it, maybe an hour and a half and then it was gone. This one was definitely the worst. Electric Mango. This one will last. I will say this. It might, from wearing it this past week, she lasted at least three and a half hours. Yeah, I definitely do like this one. But the only thing, I, I just wish it was, 
more vibrant. That's the only thing I'm going to say. It is a nice scent, but it does come across a little generic. It's guava. The guava in it is beautiful. But there's this tiny thing about it that just makes it smell kind of generic. Yeah, I would, I would say, eh, with that one. The winner, in my opinion, with this collection is Wild Neroli. Oh, my God, it's so good. This one is a beast. It literally lasted almost six hours on my skin. I've completely fallen in love with it. I definitely think I'm going to get a backup of this one. Just because it's so freaking sexy. So the winner out of all of these, all of this, the collection's gorgeous. I will say the packaging is beautiful. But the winner, definitely Wild Neroli. If I had to pick a second, Electric Mango. And out of these two, I like the way this one smells, but it has no longevity at all. And this one would be more, it would be better for like fall or winter. And again, the longevity isn't super, super good on this one either. So, yeah, I definitely highly recommend Wild Neroli. Get you in store, get a sniffer on this, and smell it. I think you will like it. Uh, yeah, that is everything I have with this, uh, what is it, Midnight Heat Wave collection. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you checked it out. And what did you think? Let me know, let me know. And uh, as always, y'all, you know the drill. Like comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you'll learn every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.